Blue Corduroy, Nebraska 4-H Month, and Big Green Tractors are on our radar this week. Hello and welcome to Friday 5, where we're recapping the top five stories in agriculture over the past week. And as always, this program is presented by the Nebraska Corn Board. Starting off at number five, FFA members, it's time to turn the bags blue and gold again. Throughout February, FFA chapters can apply for the Turn the Bag Blue and Gold program, sponsored by Mycogen Seeds. This fall, participating FFA members will team up with their local mycogen manager to offer farmers the option to purchase corn hybrids. Participants earn funds for every bag of seeds sold. Now this fundraising opportunity is in its fourth year and so far it's raised more than $93,000 for local chapters, state associations, and the National FFA Organization. And at number four, the Bureau of Reclamation announced this week that it will provide $2.3 million in its fiscal year 2020 spending plan. That money will be put toward the repairs of the Garing Fort Laramie Tunnel following the collapse in the summer of 2019. So prior to this week, the Bureau indicated that precedent made them unable to offer any funding for the canal's repair. Senator Deb Fisher and her staff worked closely with the Bureau to find a way to secure the funding. She said it will help Western Nebraska farmers and families who feed the world to recover from the effects of this major disruption to irrigation. Moving on to the middle of the countdown, February is Nebraska 4-H month and Nebraska 4-H wants to see what the club is like from your perspective. Whether you're a 4-H professional, volunteer, club leader, or camper, if you have a 4-H adventure to share, Nebraska 4-H wants to see it. You can share your story on social media with a photo or video and be sure to tag at Nebraska 4-H and hashtag any 4-H. You can also host a Nebraska 4-H Instagram takeover. Number two, three Nebraska-based John Deere dealerships plan to merge into one. The new company, Acres Equipment, will represent 27 locations. Plains Equipment Group, Green Line Equipment, and Stutt Height Implement Company made the announcement late last Friday. In a video posted to social media, the three company chief executive officers are seen ahead of their merger presentation to John Deere. The companies plan to officially close on the deal by the end of March 2020. And finally, number one this week, the National Cattlemen's Beef Association Convention is wrapping up today in San Antonio. The U.S. Secretary of Agriculture, Sonny Perdue, spoke to cattle producers, industry partners, and stakeholders at the 2020 Cattle Industry Convention and NCBA trade show on Wednesday. The largest annual gathering of the beef industry draws more than 9,000 members to its convention. The event provides a platform for education, policy development, and networking. And that'll do it for for this week's edition of Friday Five, which is brought to you by the Nebraska Corn Board. Have a great weekend. This is Mike. Mike likes his car. Mike likes to save money. And Mike likes to breathe. So Mike fills up with E15 with 15% American ethanol. The clean octane in E15 gives Mike the performance he wants from his engine and the clean air he wants for his family. Better yet, E15 costs less at the pump. Higher octane, cleaner air, lower cost. E15 sure gives Mike a lot to like. Discover E15 with American ethanol.